Hey, Primary 6 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number 2 of your assessment paper number 12. Okay, this question uh, is seemingly simple. Well, actually it is if you really understand percentage discounts and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it can get a little bit challenging and that's why I say a challenge is another chance to shine. So this is your chance to shine. So let's hope you got this right. Um, let's take a look at the question first. Question says, Mrs. Cheng bought a bag and a pair of shoes at a discount. So remember um, that this pair of shoes and this bag is already a discounted price. Now, it says she spent a total of $57.60 on these two items. And that she spent $9.60 more on the shoes than on the bag. So a model should come into your head immediately. So part A says, how much did she spend on the shoes? Okay, very simple question. So first of all, you take out the shoes and the bag. And remember she said that the shoes actually cost a bit more. In other words, she spent a bit more on the shoes. So first off, an image should come to your mind, which is something like that. Right? And at first they are the same, but they're actually not the same because the shoes are actually 960 more than the bag. So definitely I'll put an extra unit here. And I'll call that $9.60. And what else? Altogether, she spent... 57 and six sorry 57 dollars and 60 cents so that's a total so very simple how do i do this how much did she spend on the shoes um simply take out the extra and then you have you are left with the two units and then we just simply divide by two so all we have to do again is take 5760 minus 960 what do i get i will get 48 dollars Okay, and then therefore, two units will equal to $48. And hence, one unit will give me $48 divided by two, which gives me $24. So how much does the shoes, how much does the pair of shoes cost? It equals to one unit and plus 960. So $24 plus $9.60 will give me the answer of what? $33.60. Bam. First answer, done. Alright, so that's the first answer. So for part B, this is where things get a little bit challenging. Um, the total discount for the two items was $22.40. She was given a 25% discount for the bag. So how much was the bag? The bag was one unit, which is $24. Um, what was the percentage discount for the shoes? So they ask you to find out what is the percentage discount given for the shoes. But we don't know how much the discount for the shoes is. So we have to look for the discount. But how do we do that? We have to find out what is the discount for the bag first, and then we minus it off from the uh, from the original uh, amount of discount, which is twenty two forty. Okay, so first off, I am actually going to minus. No, I'm actually going to find out um, what is the discount given. She was given a twenty five percent discount for the bag, which means that right now she's only paying seventy five percent of the price. Am I right? Yep. And the current price is twenty. 24. So therefore, 75% equals to 24. So what does 1% equals to? 1% will give me 24 divided by 75. I want to find out what is 100%. So I want to find out what's 25%. Because I want to find out what's the discount for the bag. I simply take 20, uh, 75. Sorry, 24 divided by 75. Oh no. Hope you can see that. 24 by 7 times 25. So I cancel this, I cancel this, I'll get 3. 24 divided by 3 will give me 8. Zef, therefore, the discount given for the bag is actually $8. Okay, that's the first part. So we know that the discount given for the bag was $8, but actually all in total, she was given twenty two forty of discount. So how much discount was given for the shoes? So we simply find that out. So twenty two forty minus 8 will give you... The discount given for the bag, which is actually fourteen forty. Okay, now how do we find out percentage discount? We simply um, find a wait a uh, percentage. Can okay, I put percentage discount? Which normally is the discount. Not normally, like it always is. <laughs> the discount divided by the original price. Okay, so do we know what's the original price? Um, no, we don't, right? But we can actually do the addition now we have the discount given for the shoes and we have the original price which is 3360 so the discount given was 1440 oh by the way must times 100% uh, very important 
to find the percentage discount. So discount will be 1440 divided by 3360 plus 1440. What does that give you? Uh, $48. Okay, and it will be times 100%. So you do the working, you will get 14.4 divided by 48, which gives you 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times 100%. What do we do here? We leave the percent behind, then we take 0 0.3 times 100, which gives you 30%. And hence, the answer for part B is 30%. If you got that one right, high five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, so that's it. This is how we do this question. And like I said, it can get a little bit challenging, but it's not really that difficult. But like I always say, a challenge is another word for chance. No, no, that's not what I say. I say a challenge is another chance for you to shine. Um, like I said, whenever you are posed with a challenge, don't think of it as a difficulty. Don't think of it as, oh no, I'm going to lose. Think of it as a chance for you to do better, for you to do and shine at something. All right? Whether it be in school or in life. Do that. Alright, with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.